Narayana, Narayana. In the last episode, we discussed how Ramayana was composed and how Lava and Kusha started singing it before Rama. In this episode, we will talk about Ayodhya, Dasharatha and his ministers. At Rama Sabha, Kusha and Lava started singing about Kosala Kingdom located near Sarayu River. The capital city is Ayodhya. The name Ayodhya or Yodhum Ashakya means impossible to defeat. The city was built by Manu. It has tall buildings, palaces and the outskirts are guarded by tall walls fitted with catapult weapons. Outside the walls, there were deep ditches to prevent enemies from attacking the city directly. The streets of Ayodhya have tall trees on both sides of the road. There are water fountains at junctions and Main Street has a lot of shops selling all kind of clothes, machines, weapons and art pieces. Ayodhya was 12 yojanas long and 3 yojanas wide. Each yojana is estimated to be around 6 to 15 kilometers. The suburbs of Ayodhya are located for two yojanas on all sides. There are a lot of singers, dancers and artists in the city. It also has lots of stables for horses, elephants, camels and other animals. In fact, they imported a lot of horses from other kingdoms like Kambhoja, Bahlika, Vanayu, Sindhu and mountains like Himalayas and Vindhyas. They had multiple breeds of elephants like Bhadra, Mandra, Mruga, Bhadra Mruga, Mruga Mandra, etc. The city is always busy with tourists, businessmen and subjects of Dasharatha. There are a lot of playgrounds and the city is filled with octagon shaped guest houses. All the houses in Ayodhya were built on flat and clean land. The citizens have a lot of paddy and sugarcane juice in every house. Various events like wrestling, debates were always hosted in Ayodhya. King Dasharatha was just and fair. He controlled the army superbly and is also known as Maharathi. A Maharathi is a person who can fight a battle while protecting himself, his charioteer and horses. He had eight ministers advising him on all issues of running a kingdom. They were Drishti, Jayanta, Vijaya, Siddhartha, Arthasadaka, Ashoka, Mantrapala and Sumantra. Vasishta and Vamadeva were the main priests of Kosala. He also had another minister named Jabali who is an expert in law and justice. All his ministers followed dharma and were experts in politics and economics. They were impartial in applying the law. Together they discussed all the important issues and solved them appropriately. They had a lot of foresight and advised Dasharada when to forge a friendship and when to go to war with other kingdoms. Dasharatha himself had a lot of spice in and out of his kingdom to update him on the ground level issues. He had a lot of friends and donated to various charitable organizations. The citizens of Ayodhya were very happy under his rule. They were very hardworking, smart and lawful. Every house in Ayodhya had cows, horses and grains. All the citizens were well educated and all of them had jewelry on their body. They had headgear, earrings, tilaka on their forehead and scented themselves with sandalwood perfumes. There were no hunger or theft issues in Ayodhya. Everyone performed Somayaga daily in their houses. 
all the families enjoyed long life and wealth. Ayodhya was an indomitable city full of riches and its citizens were leading very happy lives. This brings us to the end of Sargas 5, 6 and 7 of Balakanda in Ramayana. In the next episode, we will talk about the problem faced by Dasharadha and what he decides to do about it. Until then, Narayana, Narayana. Please like, share and subscribe for more videos. You can also follow us on Twitter, Facebook and Coop.